just when I thought it was going to be a really boring week, Brabos decided to hit us, boom, with four new models, and these things are mind-blowing. It's right with me and today we're going to be talking about the beautiful menaces that Brabus decided to offer us this week. So this week they launched and released four new models. So we have the Brabus 820, the Brabus 700, the Brabus Porsche Taycan and the Brabus 900 which is the, we'll save the best for last now. So let's save the information on that one. So let's begin with the first one that they released, the teaser one. So they released the Brabus 820, which is based on the 911-992 Turbo S. And this particular one is one of its kind. So they did something really interesting to this car. So I will get on with it in, the, in a moment. But first of all, I'd like to ask you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Also, tap on the bell icon below to turn on post notifications. And I give you all of the juice right now. So the Brabus 820 comes in two tuning stages. So of course we have stage one, which comes with the Power Extra P38S 720, which adds about 80 more horsepower to the 992 Turbo S. But we also have the stage two, which comes with the Power Extra P38S 820, which is what we're about to talk about right now. So this car is powered by a 3.8 liter flat six engine, which comes with twin turbochargers that have just been newly developed. Of course, it's mated to an 8-speed dual clutch transmission and it does zero to 100 in 2.5 seconds. Just as the name entails, of course, this car puts out 820 horsepower, 950 newton meters of torque, and this car runs on an amazing set of four wheels. So in the front, we have 255 30ZRs that are wrapped in 21-inch rims, Brabus Monoblock Z, Monoblock Z Platinum Edition forged wheels. And at the rear, of course, we have the same forged wheels in 22 inches, but we have 335 25ZRs, 22 inches, crazy. The Rival 820 also comes with newly developed sports spring adjustable suspension systems. Now this allows you to adjust the height up to 22 millimeters to enhance your driving dynamics. Then when it comes to the exhaust system, this was enhanced by Inconel and it comes with butterfly valves that can open up and close when the driver switches between sport and coming home mode. Now when we go into the cabin, which some people like to hear about, this car was fitted with handcrafted leather that is just mind-blowing, like the quality is superb and of course it comes in dual tones of black and red. So... Moving on, I think each car actually is better than the previous one because the next one is going to blow your mind. Have you ever thought to see a Brabus Rolls Royce? Yes guys, so the next one we're going to be talking about is the Brabus 700 based on the Rolls Royce Ghost. So the Brabus 700 is based, like I said, on the Rolls Royce Ghost Series 2 and this car is powered by a 6.7 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. Just as the name entails, it puts out 700 horsepower and the same 950 newton meters of torque. This car sends all the parts of course all four wheels of the car and it is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Of course you have a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour and this car runs on 22-inch Brabus Monoblock M Platinum Edition forged wheels. If I got that right. <laughs> so Brabus fitted this car with carbon fiber aerodynamic enhancement components like of course you have the grill frame and carbon fiber, the front lip spoiler, the lip splitter, the air intake surrounds and some other parts of the car in front and in the rear. The exhaust tips were not left out because this was made out of carbon finished stainless steel exhaust like system. That's what we have right there with active valves. Now, they also added daylight, LED daylight running lamps in the front bumper. And you know all those shiny parts of the car that we usually used to have? Yeah, those were replaced with shadow chrome. So they're a bit toned down. Hmm, no more shiny parts, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. 
Then in order to remind you that what you're driving is not just a Rolls Royce, it's a Brabus Ghost Series 2. They replaced all the Rolls Royce emblems with Brabus. So, you know what that means, right? Then the interior was not left out, of course. They decided to give you the best of the best which Rolls Royce is known for. Brabus did not mess that up, so they left the interior fully customizable with the best of materials, including the best handcrafted leather and Alcantara. Beautiful. Now, you know all of that very comfortable, unique suspension setup that Rolls Royce has? When Brabus decided to play with the Ghost Series 2, they didn't touch any of that, so you still get your refined ride quality, but with more power and this car is way more fun who would have thought brabus would be tuning a fully electric car especially one that has its german origins now the next car we're going to be talking about is the all new brabus Taycan turbo s which is based on the porsche Taycan turbo s first things first this car is fully electric so they fitted a whole lot of carbon fiber trimmings all around the car in the front and the rear inside every single place so first things first the first thing you'd notice is the carbon fiber trim in the front so of course you have a carbon fiber lip spoiler with side flaps this was put there to reduce front axle lift at high speed now in the rear of course you have a three-piece rear spoiler and a new rear diffuser this was put there to you know perform the same function as the ones they put in the front yeah, so it gives this car like a very firm stance. So, you know, handling is... Then you have even more carbon fiber around the car and carbon surrounds to improve the airflow into the radiator. Now, when it comes to the suspension system, the setup is similar to that one you, I explained in the A20. And the rim is basically the same exact rim, but in 22 inches. And the catch here is you get to choose amongst a variety of options that is epic i like that part so when it comes to the interior brabus fitted the Taycan turbo s with soft breathable and durable leather as alcantara finishes then of course you have a sprinkle of carbon fiber here and there you know like i said there's carbon fiber all over this car yeah now when it comes to the powertrain because it's fully electric Brabus didn't mess with it, so they left Porsche's dual electric motors that put out 750 horsepower and this car sprints from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds and it has a top speed of 161 miles per hour. Now, there is only one downside to this car. The Porsche Taycan Turbo S has a major competitor and this major competitor puts out uh, or offers longer range than the Taycan Turbo S so if you would please tell me in the comment section who do you think this major competitor is so now we're down to the last but definitely not the least this one is the Brabus Ultimate Supercar now we're talking about the Brabus 900 Super Black, which is based on the G63 AMG. So of course, this particular car comes with the G63 AMG, basically with like a whole lot of add-ons, like the Brabus kits, which seemingly, which makes the car or the SUV seemingly lighter. Anyway, this car is powered by a 4.5 liter V8 engine that has newly developed twin turbochargers. This car is limited to a 9-speed automatic transmission and just like the name entails, it puts out 900 horsepower and a whooping 1,250 newton meters of torque. <sighs> wow, that's something. Now, this car sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.7 seconds and it has a top speed that has been electronically limited to 280 km per hour. Jeez, I know someone who's not going to be happy about this part. Well, let's see how he handles it, shall we? Now, when it comes to the tire setup, of course, we have the same platinum edition wheels or rims, only that this time, as opposed to other cars, the G-Wagon comes in 24-inch rims. Mad. Brabus also made available a stainless steel high-performance exhaust system with full carbon trims 
and this car has like this exhaust system has like controlled active controlled valves or controlling valves which allows the driver to open up the exhaust system to loud it in sport mode and hush hush it in coming home mode which is similar to the setup we have in the Brabus 820. Now when it comes to the suspension setup they spoke a lot of English so we have a lot of them um, Wait, hold on, I'm going to get back to you on that. So back to the suspension system. So Bravo said they have a Bravo Ride Control Aluminium Coilover Suspension System. Is it what? Oppo! Ah ah! Oh, boy, Oppo is plenty. That one there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. So this suspension system basically allows for ride adjustment up to 45 millimeters. This allows for optimal handling. Now remember when I said that it fitted a whole lot of lightweight materials in this car? Yeah. Handling. So, bye fellas, I'm going to leave you all in the dust. So me and our brothers painted the exterior of this car obsidian black metallic. They decided to give us a monochrome black finish in the interior. So we also have bespoke handcrafted leather. These people did not leave, they didn't leave anything out of it, you know. They were very detailed about it. So this bespoke handcrafted leather is accentuated by seashell diamond, seashell diamond quiltings. And because they are paying tribute to their founding year, you have 77 signets on like different parts of the car inside. This is just mind-blowing. So, having looked at all of these cars, which one do you think is your favorite Brabus partnership? And what do you think? Do you think Brabus should stay out of the way and just stick to Mercedes-Benz? Or do you think that we are all ready to work on these partnerships with other performance cars or even car brands? Tell me that in the comment section, beautiful people. And of course, this is where we have to part ways for this week's episode, guys. Yeah, so thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video up until this extent. <sighs> thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everything. Nonetheless, if you're having a piece do well to subscribe to the YouTube channel, tap on the bell icon below to turn on post notifications, share and like this video guys, let's get those numbers up, 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 and I do hope you look forward to seeing more interesting information and content coming right at you from Ride With Me. Anyway guys, here's to saying goodbye.